So, open a blender, delete the cube, add a sphere, this will be our moon. Shade is smooth and add a subdivision surface modifier to make it smoother because moon has a lot of geometry. Now select the annotation tool and draw a rough sketch of how you want the moon to break up. And uh, select its surface mode so you can draw well on surface and add some lines right around there and like that. Some straight lines, some jagged lines, whatever you want, you know, whatever you want. Now add some points to add some more randomness and save the file because you will cry in the future if you don't. Okay. Now what? Yes. Now go to the add-on preferences and add the cell fracture add-on. Add two materials and then on the cell fracture select annotation pencil source limit to 1000 noise to 0.5 and material to 1 and then click OK and it will do its interpreting whatever you know and it will reconstruct that sphere yay look how cool is that right so move all of these pieces to a new collection and select these pieces and add the rigid body active okay you can see it's falling we don't want that so you will turn the gravity down to zero add a cylinder and we will turn its shape down and along the Z and Y axis to make it look like a rod now we'll animate it and set the cache frames from 1 to 500 because we want a slow animation and simulation so animated from going from left and through the sphere and to the right we want this to break our cube add the same physics to that cylinder and calculate their mass by using the calculate mass tool and it will not you know it will not animate unless you check animated in the in its rigid body physics okay now bake look how good is that okay now add particle settings to the original sphere and turn their gravity down and set their number up and time them perfectly with the you know colliding and ragnarok time it with the ragnarok right so a render will render it as a collection and that collection will be you know those broken pieces yay now select the scale and turn it way down and set the scale and run us to one and here we go nice 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 looking you know particles small particles small 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 rocks right but we don't want them to appear on everywhere you know we want them to appear from where it's colliding to the rod right so go to the weight pin mode and draw from side of the sphere wherever you want the most particles draw the red on that and just like that I want it to be kind of like that go to the particles vertex group and I select that same vertex group that we just made and there you go nice nice it looks really good guys if you did the same as me now for the textures I will create a link in the description you can download it from there in the credit to NASA they have these guys have everything it's scary you know they have the entire moon and also they have its displacement map first you will connect the base color for now and for this displacement feed it to a displacement and set the color space to non color and in the cycles material settings set it to displacement and bump and we'll use the same material for the second material which is inside of the faces you you can 
you know tweak the settings and make it a little darker on the inside you know however you want it or you can maybe use a gradient texture to simulate you know uh, layers of i don't know what are the layers for the moon so i'm not doing this right now uh now it looks really good guys it looks like a moon and looks like it's breaking up okay for the last step add a torus to torus yeah. add a donut and uh, make it a real fat moon because this will be the dust that we are gonna make okay because moon when it breaks up it will have dust you know so we will control it by gradient texture you know because we want the dust to be concentrated on the center and not so much on the edges and through a mapping and co texture coordinate node you will have to adjust its location because it's gonna be on the sides a little bit and you can add a color ramp and you know intensify the effect you can see it's on the side so we're gonna tweak it on the location settings Z as well all right guys now there shouldn't be any dust on the uh, on the start of this animation but on the end it should be bigger so animate the scaling according to that and there it is you're done just you know render it however, however you want you want the sun to be red make it red you want the sky around the moon it's your choice you know it's your moon never you know listen to anybody listen to yourself now I'm gonna render it on a GPU if you don't have a GPU that's your fault and <laughs> and you can render it through EV EV works really well in this case and there you go guys okay guys that was it thank you so much for following this tutorial if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and I will make another something you know interesting and I will come back with another tutorial thanks so much bye bye